yes uh, hello guys uh, welcome back to channel today uh, we are going to uh, learn about an important topic that is uh, what is the difference between calculated columns and measures so it is the most uh, frequently asked question in the interviews guys so uh, without this question there is no power bi interview i can bet on it so definitely it is compulsory an interview question but before going to the interview question uh, first uh, make sure you just have a good understanding about this uh, calculated columns and measures Why? because uh, in the power bi uh, when you are going to work on project real time so without these two concepts or without these two functionalities there is no power bi project at all so that's why every interviewer going to ask you i uh, ask you and stretch uh, and more than stretch you on these two concepts that's why they are asking difference between these two so without any late let's get into our uh, topic guys so i will explain you each and every differences and also i will show you demo end of the uh, this presentation okay make sure to watch this video from starting to ending so that you are not going to miss any point okay so here the first difference is uh, uh, yeah calculated columns visible if you see that visible as a column in a table so nothing but whenever you are going to add a column nothing but add a calculated column in a uh, table so that it is automatically added to a column so that you can able to see that value in this table so example uh, in a table you just added a calculated column so as soon as you added the calculated column so you can able to see that uh, column okay well coming to here these are not visible in table exactly so you can't able to see uh, of course these are visible but uh, these are not visible as a column so when you are click on view tab you can't able to see this uh, measure you can able to see only when you drag and drop through visualization okay calculated based on uh, row context means uh, performs the calculation row by row see when example to uh, when example nothing but uh, for calculated columns right these are perform row by row operations while coming to measure these are filter context and it will display on fly nothing but it will calculate the uh, calculated it will calculate or, or it will perform the calculations on the fly well coming to here uh, it calculated by row by row operations so it is best suitable for row by row operations okay and uh, mostly used in slices to filter the values exactly so in order to filter the any uh, uh, any in order to filter the values uh, these are uh, pretty much used for uh, slices well coming to uh, major slices are not supported so when you drag and drop for the slices it will not support i will show you in the demo and we can create with uh, uh, power query editor or dax exactly we can uh, so we by using power query editor or dax we can able to create this but we will come to here uh, measures uh, uh, you can able to create only with dax there is no other way so fifth point is it is consume cpu yes uh, while coming to calculate columns it consume cpu guys while coming to here it consumes uh, uh, sorry uh, pardon while coming to calculate columns it, it consumes uh, ram and while coming to measures uh, it consumes cpu exactly guys why because in the calculated columns it consumes ram so that uh, it will take a lot of memory and uh, file size increases as a result uh, your performance got decreased i mean nothing your performance is uh, degrading so that is a major diff uh, major demerit of a uh, calculated columns while coming to measures uh, the table size will not increase while adding column that is one thing and also it consumes cpu it not it will not consume memory right so that uh, your performance is not going to degrade so six and points are same and uh, and uh, profit uh, cost price minus selling price and uh, sum of sales okay so uh, let's get into demo without any late guys okay so you will get a clear idea so first is a visual uh, as a column in a table and uh, slicers all i will show this okay and this uh, dax uh, everything i will show okay so i am just open the power bi uh, uh, desktop guys so that so this is a blank power bi desktop here i am going to add a data set okay so i am loading a sample data so it is a microsoft provided sample data set okay it's taking time so that uh, okay I will go for a okay, no problem. I will go for what happened. Already I have a data. Okay, I will go for Excel workbook which I am uh, already created. Let's go for that one. Okay, 
not sure guys why it is taking time okay it's a workbook so i'm using this i just uh, guys i did nothing uh, i just uh, imported a sample uh, i mean i mean i just imported a uh, just a demo calculate columns and measures uh, worksheet okay so here yeah, i am going to load okay nothing but nothing complexity so there is nothing complexity guys uh, i am just loading a, an excel file into my power bi desktop okay okay so when you come to view tab Product cost price selling price. Okay, so here I am going to add a one calculator column. Okay, for adding calculator column, you can do two different ways. We're coming to here modeling. You can add as new column. Whenever you're going to add a new column, it is create a calculator column. Okay, so here you can add. Here also you can add. Okay, both are same. Okay, so I'm going to add here now a calculator column. Okay, just try to understand, guys. Okay, profit. Okay. I am just adding profit is equal. What is the profit? How can we add profit? Okay. So selling price minus cost price. Okay. So I am going to add here profit. Okay. So this is my profit, guys. For apples, ten rupees is my profit. Grapes, five rupees, and peanuts, fifty rupees is profit. Okay. Obviously, this is the formula we are using now, real time also, like our day day to day uh, uh, activities. Okay. Whenever we are going to sell uh, for anything like uh, uh, calculating properties, this is the formula we are using. Okay. So this is nothing simple. So now you can able to see right here. Uh, whenever I added a calculate column, I can able to see here this value. But while coming to here, let's see. Here I am adding the same measure. Okay, for cal for a profit, uh, uh, how do we calculate by using a measure? Right, I am using a profit measure. Okay, okay. Uh, I am using here sum x. Okay, sum x. I am using the table. Now what is the table we are using? Demo. Okay, and I am writing here expression. Before writing an expression, let's see. Selling price. Okay. Uh, let's check cross uh, for for me. Okay. I'm just adding a product. I just want to see profit. Perfect, fine. It's working fine. Okay, so yes, I just added new measure is a profit measure. Okay, let me show you. But when you click on here view tab, data tab, sorry, when I click on data tab, the measure which I added profit measure is not a, uh, which I cannot uh, count able to see here. I mean nothing but which it is not displaying here. So that is the major difference. Why? Because when you are adding the calculator column, you can able to see here. But when you are adding a measure, you can't able to see here. That's why if you see here again, I will come here back, come back to here. So here you won't able to see your profit measure. You can only able to see when you drag and drop in the measure. So same. This is the calculated column and this is the measure. Okay, the same thing. There is no difference. Okay, there is a major difference. And other thing is, uh, uh, let's come to here. As we said, row context, row by row. So mostly using uh, slicers to filter the values. Okay, but here uh, slicer does not support the measures. Okay, let's see. And here, uh, let me add a slicer so that you will get a clear idea. Okay, see, I just added a slicer, and uh, so this is the one right uh, I added. Uh, profit is a calculated column. So perfectly. It is supporting okay list perfectly calculate column is supported by slicers but same thing i am again adding here slicers okay so i am going to add here uh, my measure see it's not allowing me to add here that is the major difference between a calculate column and measure so that's why it is not allowing me to measure is not allowing me to add in 
nothing but sliders are not supporting for measure so that's the other difference okay so these two are major differences and one thing majorly is uh, uh, calculated column we can able to see in data tab but uh, measures we couldn't able to see measures will display on fly so when dragging a visual uh, when dragging a measure into visual then we can able to see except for slicers uh, that's the other difference and uh, it consumes uh, 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 calculated columns consumes uh, RAM we are coming to measures consume CPU the other differences and uh, these are the major differences guys so let me come back to here yes the table size will not increase since it's not we also expand about them so, so this is the major differences guys so whenever in an interview someone ask into it ask you you can say about these differences okay first majorly row context and filter context and uh, and other is uh, so and now we are going to add and calculate a column so uh, the table size increases for where here table size is decreases for in the performance stand of view measures are the best one since it consumes a cpu right so data refresh is not taking time okay from here i'm ending my video guys if you have any doubt kindly uh, comment in the comment section i'm happy to help you thank you guys thanks for watching